Alright, so I want to introduce our very first system of SolarX power. Uh, we are using X3 hybrid energy, 15 kilowatt, uh, 2 units. So if you can see on my right side, this is the inverter, uh, 15 kilowatt. This is the battery, T58, each uh, consists of 5.8 kilowatt hour. This is the master unit, this is the slave unit. If you want to use the battery, you can add up up to three slaves, another two. This is the spare that we stand by, another one you can put here. Uh, but the thing is, if you want to use it as a standalone, as a self use or EPS mode, without the grid, you must have one master and one slave battery. Only then the house or the building can function on standalone mode. Okay, if you have a grid uh, supply, you can just use uh, one. But you must use the master. Every single inverter must have the master battery. Uh, only then you can add the slave battery. Okay, to add up, we have another inverter on my left side here. This is actually the master uh, inverter setting. So we set the inverter in parallel. So this is the master, uh, master. the other one is the slave. So now we have 15 kilowatt times 2. 15 kilowatt plus 15 kilowatt. Uh, the output that it can support directly by solar slash battery is 13, sorry, 30 kilowatt. Okay. Uh, the good thing about this solar X inverter as well, it has uh, phase balancing. So if you have any other phase, let's say red is more than yellow and blue, uh, the inverter can adjust accordingly. Uh, from what my understanding is, the previous version of uh, hybrid inverter, they are quite fixed, rigid. Because each... Um, Phase, if they supply 10 m, the other phase also will get another uh, the same amount. So the solar X can adjust uh, accordingly. So when we connect both about uh, this uh, hybrid inverter, you don't have to use um, parallel kit. Uh, that's the thing I find quite I found quite um, practical or convenient to us. We don't have to use the parallel kit. Up to three or four units or 5 units but I mean below 3 definitely you don't have to use the parallel kit you can just combine the EPS uh, output and also the grid output and then you just must have only one master inverter with the CT CTs uh, to make sure uh, there will be zero export okay so this is the system by SolarX our first time I think definitely we're gonna use uh, SolarX um, set up again after this, especially for three-phase uh, houses. Uh, it's quite convenient. Um, the support as well, and I mean, to be fair, we are also still learning and we are really going to monitor the system to find out uh, how easy it is, how practical is the system, and what is the um, uh, output, I mean, performance of our solar energy system. Okay, thank you.